Hey everybody, Coke Man 250 here. And it's that time of year again. Time to get some corn ready for the freezer. Now, I've actually waited late in the season this year and this is about all the corn that, uh, that I could find. I mean, I've waited right till the end. But as you can see the operation we got going, we got an outdoor cooker and I've got that thing pumping because I want that water to keep boiling so we can keep this going. And I uh, got a cooler over here with a water hose in it. That's where they cool down, shucking. Uh, I've already got a whole bag full of shucks here. And uh, when we get done here, we'll pour this out in the pasture for the for the deer. And then uh, our corn harvest will hopefully produce us some harvest of deer. Keeps them deer happy, keeps them coming back. So, and then once I get it done, once I get done blanching, we're just sticking it in Ziploc bags, getting it ready for the freezer. So a lot of people out there say that you don't have to blanch corn to freeze it. And I'm assuming they're right. I've never done that. I've always blanched it just because the investment I put into it. And I don't want to risk a year's worth of corn. Now, maybe on a short term basis or maybe for like eight or 10 years, you might do that. But we're talking, you know, I'm talking over a hundred ears of corn and I hate to dig into the freezer here in a couple months and all of it's bad. So I got a video that I'll attach to this one and it's called uh, Why Blanch Corn? And it'll talk all, I'll talk all about the reasons why to blanch it. And, but just a short video, show you what we're doing. Got it going out here on the homestead again, winding down from some vegetable season and and i'll tell you you guys know i started the garden this year the garden did not do well at all so and that's why there's farmers markets and that's why there's you know big farmers that you can buy from and and take advantage of that like i did this year but out of all the years i've done this i've never had one of my kids like old enough to really help i mean i guess they were i just they didn't but my boy's really been helping me a lot today he's been putting the corn into bowl he's been putting it in here switching it around and by him doing that he's learning he's learning to do this so that when he gets old enough and has a family of his own he will be able to do these kind of things to help take care of his family and i remember you know all the years that my grandpa would have me do things for him you know, I guess in the long run, that was I was learning. So, what what you do when you when you blanch corn here is you just throw it in some boiling water. You shuck it. You throw it in some boiling water for about five or six minutes. You let it boil real good, and then you throw it over in some cold water to stop it from cooking. And that'll kill the bacteria in it, the enzyme. There's an enzyme in corn that, even though it's frozen, can still break down the corn and and if you leave corn you know if you leave fresh corn out too long and you don't do anything with it then you know what i'm talking about it it it, it gets uh slimy and gets uh it gets a taste to it that you know you know that it's bad well that's what can happen also in the freezer you can take the freshest corn you can shuck it and throw it in the freezer and so far down the road you can open a bag up and it's just like you've let it set too long without doing anything with it and it's because that enzyme don't die in the freezer and it continues to break it down it slows the process down by freezing it but it don't kill it the only way to kill it is to boil it so that's why we do blanch corn and i go a lot more technical and scientific in the video <laughs> that i'll link but um but this is just kind of a real quick video so there you go all right so now we're dumping the shucks out here and i'll tell you what there is just about nothing more that some old white tails like than some fresh deer shucks some fresh deer on the corn on the cob so that we can have deer on the cob later <laughs> there's and i'm dumping it with a direct shot to my deer stand so use everything folks take advantage of it and this coke man 250 from the land of the free the home of the brave
God bless everybody. And remember, prep smarter, pray harder. Pray harder. <laughs>